smooth online and phone conversations, mastering turn-taking. Hello, language learners. Today, we're focusing on a vital part of any conversation, turn-taking. More specifically, we'll dive into turn-taking in different contexts, mainly online and phone conversations. So, sit tight, take notes, and let's make your online and phone conversations smoother and more effective. Let's start with the basics. Turn-taking is a type of organization in conversation and communication where participants speak one at a time in alternating turns. This concept is essential, especially in online and phone conversations, where visual cues might be absent. Now, on to our first main section, turn-taking in phone conversations. The crucial thing to remember is that we don't have visual cues in phone calls. Therefore, listening carefully is essential. You should wait for verbal cues like, right, you know, or falling intonation to know when it's your turn to speak. In the English language, some expressions can also signal your intent to speak. Phrases like, if I may add, just to jump in here, or, may I say something, can help you take your turn. In online conversations, things get a bit different. Here, we often have a chat or message function where we can take turns at our own pace. But, in video calls, the rules are similar to phone conversations with some extra elements. Apart from listening for verbal cues, you can also use visual cues. When someone leans back, looks away from the camera, or stops talking, it might be your turn. Similarly, if you wish to speak, you could use body language like leaning forward or raising your hand slightly. Moreover, in online meetings or group conversations, it's beneficial to use chat functions to signal your intent to take your turn, using phrases like, I have a point, can I jump in, or even a simple question to get the floor. Regardless of the context, remember that politeness and patience are key in any conversation. It's always better to wait for your turn rather than interrupting someone. If you do need to interrupt, remember to do it politely. Phrases like, excuse me for interrupting, or, sorry to cut you off, but, can be useful. Well, there you have it, folks. These are some crucial tips to improve your turn-taking in online and phone conversations. The more you practice, the better you'll become. It might feel strange or mechanical at first, but with time, these strategies will become second nature. Remember, the goal is to create smooth and respectful conversations where everyone gets their chance to speak. We hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing, and see you next time.